The National Library of Virtual Manipulatives is a program containing many electronic math manipulatives that engage and help students learning math. So to get there, you just go to Mozilla and type in this website. And it just shows up, so you can just click it. The home page will pop up, and you could either use it online or download a free desktop version. For this presentation, we will just use the online version. And the home page shows different math topics, such as number and operations, algebra, geometry, measurement, and data analysis and probability. And it also has different grade levels ranging from pre-K all the way to 12th grade. Um, some other things that you could go to on the home page include the About link. And it just shows like a history of the program and the system requirements. And then if you click on ENLVM, it just shows you an introduction to the program, and you could read that over before you use it. Um, we'll go back to the home page, and we're going to demonstrate some programs in the third to fifth grade range. Okay, first we're going to go to number and operations, so you just click it, and I'll show you um, a whole bunch of different, you know, sites and things like that to use. Um, we're going to use color chips, which is uh, helps for adding with um, negative numbers. So here it will tell you, click and drag chips in the circle to represent the problem. Then click continue. So negative 3, so you pull out negative 3. And this is helpful for teachers to give students as, like classwork and they can learn and practice what they're doing in a more fun way because they're actually more hands-on. So negative 3 plus 5 and you just, just click continue. And then I'll say simplify by dragging the minus chips onto the plus chips. So you just move, move them over. Everything is really self-explanatory. They help you understand. And then the answer is two. So the student will put two, and they'll check, and they'll tell you if you did if you did it right or not. And you can keep doing them until they get practice, until the teacher tells them not to. Um, you can either go back or just X out. I find it easier just to X out because it brings you back to the page. You can try other ones, different grades, and just go back to the home page. And next we're going to do algebra. Okay, so previously I just clicked number and operations. It showed me every single grade, and I just went down to 3 to 5. But an easier way, you just click the box of what you're looking at. We're going to show you measurement and then tangram, so 35 grade. And tangrams is right here. Um, this just helps um, students, you know, understand how to make, like, how to use shapes and solve the problems in it. Um, they have different kinds of... Okay, so here you have the tangram, and they have a whole bunch of different shapes, and you're supposed to click the shape, and that's instructions right here for the students. Click on the shapes below, so you could pick whatever one you want, let's say the arrow, and you're supposed to put all these shapes inside this arrow to fill it, but you can't overlap, overlap them at all, so you want to be able to, you could flip them by reversing them, this one doesn't really like flipping them, and you can also change them by rotating them like this. You could change the color, so if you want these to all be green, you can just click them and make them all green. And if you have, if students are having trouble, let's say they, they decide that maybe this will work, and as they're going through it, they realize they're overlapping and they're not working, they can just click a hint, and they'll as it, they click hint more, it'll keep giving you more lines to show you where the shapes really go. So they can just take the take the arrow, you know, change it up, and place them in just keep doing this to fill it up and then the students will get a better understanding by hands-on to see how to use how shapes can like make one another and make another shape and how they work and just like spreading their imagination to making new things because not many people are able to play, like figure these out because they just think of the shapes to be one way and they don't think that you can just move them and change them to make a shape like this and this is actually fun for students they have a lot of fun you know making them and try to figure them out and, and then they can customize them however they want. So it's definitely really good to use for measurement and tangrams. 
And like I said, you can click back, X out, and go back to the home where you play more games on here for other students to use. And Okay, so for our last demonstration, just go to data analysis and probability. And we're going to do the pie chart. And for this program, you just, let's say you're taking a survey in your classroom of your students' favorite flavor ice cream, and you have the students go around and find out numbers. They could just plug it in here. So let's say um, 14 people like vanilla. Um, five people like chocolate. Eight people like strawberry. And six people like a different flavor. You just plug in all your information there and just write, click draw chart and it comes up with a pie chart and this is a great way for kids to see data in a table and percentages and just realize how much is each percentage and stuff like that. And yeah, so if you just exit out of this, um, to conclude our presentation, you could see that the National Library of Virtual Manipulatives helps students learn math in a variety of ways. There's so many programs and different activities on this website that you could use to just enforce learning. And that's pretty much it. So this concludes our presentation.